So I see you made it home safely last night. Uh, yeah. You want some Danish? Yeah. <laughs> Lois, are you mad at me? No. God, cause look, I'm sorry. It's just, I worry about you. Even more than I used to. Clark, Lois. last night. Clark told me how you two crap get luggage theft story out there at the airport. Right of cowgirl. Can't wait to see that uh, copy on my desk. Say, uh, half an hour? Uh, Perry. He's been on a tear all morning. He just started boxing lessons. He's all pumped up. I, uh, I think he caught Alice checking out a waiter the other night. <laughs> Star, I had a sudden flash after you left for work this morning. I knew you left for work because I can see who comes and goes from one of the windows in my living room anyway. Maybe you'd like to read these books. They're all about alien abduction. Maybe you can get a clue about the guys who took you last night. Oh, and if you only have time to read one, read this one. It's by Dr. Martin Solzvik. He's the world's leading authority on alien abductions. He lives right here in Metropolis. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Cinnamon apple? Uh, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. If you want some entertainment, turn on the TV. <laughs> uh, Lois, did something happen last No, night? nothing. Sort of. No, just <laughs> my car stalled, and a big white light engulfed me, and I saw some aliens, and I woke up in my front seat 11 hours later, and it felt like two minutes. D did I mention floating? You saw aliens? Krypton is not the only other planet in the universe with intelligent life. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that... Gort! Gortu Varada Nikto. Scotty, stand by to hear me out. <laughs> Go ahead, laugh. Make fun of me. I'm not an idiot. You don't think I've asked myself a thousand times if this really happened? Well, it really did. Oh, look, look, Lois, I, uh, I apologize. Obviously, something has upset you. Now, I don't know what it is, but... I do know you, and I know you wouldn't lie, at least to me, most of the time. So, um, why don't we just forget about the airport story for now, huh? Yeah, you can turn it in later. Now, whatever happened, I want you and Clark to get to the bottom of it. Now, spend whatever you need. Are you feeling okay? Oh, well, I just got to keep those boys over there in accounting on their toes. Hey, that's a nice hairdo, Tinkerbell. <laughs> All right, you two. Get. 